Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Today we embark on a spiritual journey to explore the signs that Allah our Creator loves us. These signs are often subtle yet profound, visible in our everyday actions and attitudes. They are seven in number. Patience, tolerance, repentance, purity, piety, humility and strength. These aren't just virtues but indicators of divine love and guidance in our lives. So are you ready to discover these signs and deepen your spiritual connection? Without further ado, let's dive into the signs. The first sign that Allah loves you is your patience. Patience in Arabic sabr is not merely the ability to wait, but how we behave while waiting. It is about maintaining a positive attitude during the difficult times, the trials, the tribulations. In the Holy Quran, Allah tells us, indeed Allah is with the patient. This divine companionship is a clear indication of his love for the patient. When we remain steadfast in our religious obligations, when we persevere in prayer, in fasting, in charity, we show our devotion and obedience to Allah. And this patience is reciprocated with his love. Moreover, patience is not only about enduring hardships, but also about resisting temptations. It is about maintaining our moral and ethical standards, even when the world around us may be pushing us otherwise. This is the patience that Allah loves. Indeed, patience is a virtue rewarded by Allah. It is the first sign of His love, a beacon guiding us on the path of righteousness. The second sign that Allah loves you is your tolerance. Now, understanding tolerance in the Islamic context is key. It's not merely about accepting differences, but it's about embracing them with respect and kindness. It's about seeing the diversity of creation as a testament to Allah's infinite wisdom and creativity. Tolerance is a beautiful quality, a virtue that binds hearts and strengthens communities. It's about refraining from judgment, extending a hand of friendship to those who may not share our beliefs or customs. It's about coexisting in harmony, finding common ground in our shared humanity. Tolerance is a sign of strength, not weakness. It's a sign of a heart that's big enough to accept, to forgive and to love, even in the face of disagreement or misunderstanding. It's a sign of a soul touched by Allah's love, a soul that mirrors His mercy and compassion. Tolerance is a reflection of the love Allah has for us. The third sign that Allah loves you is your repentance. Now, repentance isn't just about feeling guilty or remorseful. It's about a sincere turn away from sins, a heartfelt return to Allah's path. It's about acknowledging our mistakes and seeking forgiveness, not out of fear, but out of love and respect for our Creator. When we repent, we cleanse our hearts, we purify our souls. We leave behind the burdens of our past mistakes and move towards a brighter, more enlightened path. The beauty of repentance lies in its transformative power. It's a process that allows us to grow, to blossom, to become better versions of ourselves. Remember, every time you repent, you're not just seeking forgiveness. You're expressing your love for Allah, your desire to be closer to Him. And in return, Allah opens His doors of mercy and love for you. Repentance is indeed an act of love from Allah. The fourth sign that Allah loves you is your purity. Purity, my friends, is a deep, encompassing concept within Islam. It's not merely physical cleanliness, but also extends to the purity of thoughts, actions and intentions. When your heart is pure, it reflects in your actions, which become devoid of malice and deceit. This purity of heart and action is a clear sign of Allah's love for you. It's like a mirror that reflects the divine light, casting a glow on everything around it. But remember, this purity isn't something that simply happens. It's a journey. A journey of continuous self-improvement, of constantly seeking knowledge and truth, of striving to purify one's heart from the distractions of this world. When you walk this path of purity, you create a bond with Allah, a bond that is nurtured with love and care. It's a testament to His love for you, a sign that you are indeed cherished by the Divine. Purity is a symbol of Allah's love. The fifth sign that Allah loves you is your piety. Piety, or taqwa in Arabic, is the consciousness of Allah. It's a state of constant awareness of His presence, of His omnipotence and omniscience. It is in this consciousness that you find yourself striving to uphold the principles of Islam, not out of fear, but out of love and respect for your Creator. 
your obedience to Allah, your commitment to daily prayers, your adherence to the pillars of Islam, these are reflections of your piety. They are tangible signs of Allah's love. They are manifestations of your spiritual bond with Him. When you live a life of piety, you are embracing a life of righteousness. You are choosing a path that aligns with Allah's guidance, a path that leads to peace and fulfillment. This is not a path of restriction, but one of liberation. Piety is a testament to Allah's love. The sixth sign that Allah loves you is your humility. Humility, my dear friends, is a beautiful virtue, a radiant gem that shines brightly in the heart of the believer. It signifies our acknowledgement of our own limitations, our understanding that we are not invincible, and our acceptance that we are but humble servants of our Creator. Humility is about refraining from arrogance and pride, about not seeing oneself as superior to others. It's about recognizing that all of us, regardless of our status, wealth or accomplishments, are equal in the eyes of Allah. Humility is not about self-deprecation or self-neglect, but rather about understanding our place in the grand scheme of things, about being grateful for our blessings, and about treating others with kindness and respect, just as we would like to be treated. So remember, if you are humble, you are loved by Allah. Humility is a mark of Allah's love. The final sign that Allah loves you is your strength. Now this strength isn't just physical. It's about the fortitude of your character, the resilience in your spirit, and the steadfastness of your faith. It's about standing tall in the face of adversity, not because you are unbreakable, but because your belief in Allah's plan is unshakable. When you are strong in character, you show integrity, honesty, and courage. You uphold your principles and values even when it's challenging. This is a sign of Allah's love, for He grants you the strength to remain true to yourself and Him. Strength in perseverance is about persisting with patience and grace, even when the road is tough. It's about understanding that every difficulty is a test from Allah, a test to bring you closer to Him. And strength in faith? It's about unwavering trust in Allah's wisdom and love, no matter what. This trust is a testament to Allah's love for you because He has blessed you with a faith that is strong and pure. Strength, my dear brothers and sisters, is a reflection of Allah's love. In conclusion, these seven signs are all indications of Allah's love for us. To recap, they are patience, tolerance, repentance, purity, piety, humility, and strength. Each one is a testament to our faith and a reflection of our commitment to Allah. They serve as a guide and a beacon in our spiritual journey, reminding us of the path we should follow. Alhamdulillah. May we all continue to strive for these characteristics and feel Allah's love in our lives. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters.